What's up? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be making a beat for the pop star himself, The Weeknd. A lot of y'all have been requesting it, and I haven't ever, I don't think I've ever made a Weeknd beat, so I figured I'd spice it up a little bit. Now let's get straight into making the beat. All right, so I'm going to be using one of my starter melodies that I just dropped in my new pack called Wants and Wishes. It has 40 drum loops, 11 melodic compositions with stems, and six starters. One of those six starters I'm going to be using for the video. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put the BPM to like 117. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and stretch this to be the length it needs to be so we can change the BPM without fucking the length up. I don't know why it likes to be stubborn right here. Like, yo, fit to the line, bruv. Oh my god. There we go. All right. And let's hear what it sounds like. Okay, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. I'm going to pitch it down. Now let's go ahead and grab some pop drums. I just want to show y'all how easy it is when you have something to spark an idea. You know what I'm saying? I think that could be a cool layer. All right, let's find a kick real quick. Actually, we need a hi-hat too. Boom, hi-hat, kick. And then next we're gonna need a bass guitar. So we're gonna go ahead and open up contact. Rickenbacker, bass palm muted. And then we're gonna mess with the velocities like that. Pitch that down, turn off the metronome. I think that'll be for the verse. So now let's add the kick. All right, here goes the snare pattern. Boom, boom, boom. Mad complicated. I know, it's hard to follow along, ain't it? Is cryptus even a word? How, cryptus? I said cryptus. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna stick to producing. We're gonna add a thermal on the bass to make it a bit more like gritty and distorted type of deal. All right, we're gonna add a tom fill. Maybe this. All right, so now I kind of want to have a different bass line with a melody that's kind of like a pad and it's gonna be kind of ch chopping with the bass and the bass line's gonna move a bit more. I think we're gonna do just like a classic synth sound so we can just copy those bass notes. We can just kind of build chords off of this. And then we just make this sound better. So we're going to lock in on this. So I routed this sound that we just uh, made in Juno to a separate track on the mixer channel. That way it has another layer. All I do is click on that mixer track, go to another one that has nothing on it, go to the bottom by this little arrow pointing up, left click it, boom, it's routed to it. And then I add halftime on the second one. So now you get to keep the sound of this main one. But now you also have a halftime version of it. It's like you cloned it. Now there's like another layer. It's a lower layer. So I think that's about it for that beat. I'm going to go ahead and show you how easy it is to use these drum loops. Because I feel like that's the shine of the kit. So the cool part about the drum loops in this kit is even if it has an 808 or a synth bass, any bass, it comes with stems. Like look at, look at the variety. Like I said, comes without the bass line as well. Like 
Like, that's such a vibe, bro. So watch how easy ideas just come to your head when you have a groove already. You know what I'm saying? And you could change the groove. Like, you can manipulate the drum loop, slow it down, speed it up. I slowed it down a little bit and just peep, like, what happens? You don't even need the parts with the kicks and all that. Like, you don't have to have that. You could literally just have the hi-hats that I include in the drum loops. Peep this. Like, bro, I'm just going to let it flow. I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to do it. Uh, hey, hey, hold on. Uh. That shit is hard, bro. That shit is hard, bro. Stop playing. And that's just one of them. You see what you can do. Um, if you want to check out the samples and stuff from the kit, there's a preview for that on the website. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I'm streaming today on Twitch, reacting to your beats and music. So make sure you go there and get your music roasted right after you finish watching this video. I love y'all. Y'all be easy. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. <laughs>